Chairman and witnesses, thank you, Mr. Turley. My condolences that you've had to sit through 60 of these, but thank you for being willing to do that. Uh, I look forward to hearing from all of you, but uh, Mr. Chairman, I also look forward to hearing who others who are key to this investigation. Christopher Ray, the Attorney General, former FBI Director Comey, former CIA Director Brennan. I hope we have a chance to hear from them as well. I want to share with you my first experience in this area. 2017, member of the House Intelligence Committee, after months and months of stonewalling, we were finally allowed to go to the FBI building and to read the FISA application on Carter Page. And after reading that application, it was very, very clear to me the FBI has lied to the FISA courts. The FBI has lied to Congress, and the FBI has lied to the American people. After that, I had a similar experience with some CIA documents and then other agencies. And the result of this is when, Mr. Turley, you talk about losing the faith of the American people. If an FBI agent called me today and said they wanted to speak with me, I would never speak to them regardless of the topic, without my attorney present. And by the way, Congress has to reauthorize 702 this year. And we are a long way away from getting the trust of confidence because of the subject we're talking about today. And we'll lose a valuable tool if many people are simply going to say, we won't give them that authority, they abuse it. I'd like to focus on the FBI abuse if I could. I'd remind you, Carter Page was an innocent American citizen. The FBI said he was a Russian spy. Turned out that was not true. In fact, turned out there was zero evidence that he was a Russian spy. And yet, the IG, FBI G went and looked at the FISA application, and this is what they found. And Mr. Williams, I hope you'll pay attention to this because I'm going to ask you a question about this. They found 17 significant errors or omissions. They found 51 wrong or unsupported factual assertions, including FBI lawyers who simply made up evidence and included it in the FISA application. Disgusted by this, I would suppose, the IG went and looked at random 25 other FISA applications and found significant inconsistencies and omissions in every one of them. Mr. Baker, you're a former FBI agent. Do you think that 17 omissions, 51 wrong assertions, in a FISA application, that, by the way, if you're going to get one right, don't you think that one that's targeting the President of the United States would be one you'd be particularly careful of? <laughs> and yet they found that many omissions. Do you find that a standard acceptable? Uh, of course not, Congressman. And in fact, it's, it's actually even worse than you described. Uh, the, the, uh, there was exculpatory information available that was not considered. Uh, some of the information that was considered, we now know from the Steele dossier, was false. That's right, and the list but, goes on. But even beyond that, the, the fact is that individual American, that U.S. person, Carter Page, should not have been subject to that FISA surveillance because he was an individual who, in the, this is all on the public record now, Be brief, had cooperated with the CIA and the FBI That's in previous right. investigations. So he would, by the guidelines that existed then, he should have been excluded from FISA. He could have been directly interviewed. That's right. So, Mr. Baker, I'm going to cut you off because okay. you've made your point. Mr. Williams, do you think that, as I've described to you, 17 omissions, 51 wrong assertions in one FISA application is professionally done? Sir, I would say that this is a matter that continues to be of interest to the it's Justice Department. It's a simple question. I, do you find that acceptable? I'd be, I think it's hilarious that you won't say, no, I don't. What I'm saying, sir, is that this is a matter uh, before the Justice Department and Congress that has been ongoing for years. Okay, and you so you won't answer the question. What if I will you find say that is that uh, it makes sense for you to direct the question to okay. the Justice Department. I'm asking your opinion. I'm not asking you for, for an, any insight into their investigation. I'm asking for a simple opinion. Do you find that acceptable? What I will say as okay, is never mind. Opinion. You don't oh. answer the question. Thank you, Thank you sir. Uh, because of this, the FBI initiated reforms. And you know what they were? Trainings. Here's some trainings for senior FBI officials. Training number one, don't lie to FISA courts. <laughs> training number two, don't make things up. Uh, how about training number three, don't hide evidence. That's what senior officials in the, in the FBI did. And if I wish I had more time, I'm almost out of time, because I would come to you and ask, First, Mr. Williams, I'd come back one more time and ask you if you find that acceptable or not, but we won't waste time with it. I would ask, how do we restore faith in the FBI? Because we want to trust the FBI. 
And people say you're going after the FBI. What nonsense. We're trying to protect the FBI. I know FBI agents who are deeply offended by what they see. They want us to hold them accountable, and that's what the committee is going to do. Thank you. I yield back. Thank the gentleman. Uh, the chair now recognizes the gentleman from California, Mr. Perry.